here in i button and description box below you will get complete playlist of laplace transform uh, and <clears throat> here we are going to solve a problem which is from the topic inverse laplace transform basically uh, i would uh, like to show you something that is from video number 19 okay from video number 19 to video number yes that is 30 we are solving various problems on the topic inverse laplace transform all these questions are very 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 important i would i would suggest you i would request you to solve each and every problem okay and that too in this sequence only in this sequence only so that you will get very good uh, command over this topic okay and over this all these questions out of all these questions this question number 27 is most important problem okay other questions are also very important but this is the most important problem okay so let us start with the problem welcome to video number 26 and in this video we are going to solve eighth problem okay on the topic that is inverse laplace transform okay so this question is very 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 good question i'm i mean to say one of the very important questions so i request you to watch this video till end so that you can learn a lot from this video okay so the question is evaluate inverse laplace transform of s plus 1 upon s square plus s plus 1 okay this is what this is my f bar of s which is s plus 1 upon s square plus s plus 1 okay so if you see this part okay if you see this part this is s square we want to make this as a plus b whole square okay how can we make this as a plus b whole square that is s square plus 2 into s plus half okay here we have s so how we can make this as s by multiplying 2 s with half okay so then we will left with 1 upon 2 whole square that is 1 upon 4 okay fine okay on <coughs> we have solved this part so we have 1 by 4 extra okay we have this as extra so we need to uh, <coughs> subtract this part okay because on solving this part you will get a uh, sorry you will get s plus half whole square okay since we have add this part okay extra so we need to subtract this extra part with this one fine so that the equation will be balanced fine so s plus one will be as it is this can be written as s plus half whole square and this is what this is one minus one upon four which can be written as three upon four which also can be written as root three upon two whole square okay 1 minus 1 by 4 can be written as 3 upon 4 and 3 upon 4 can be written as root 3 upon 2 whole square okay yes now since we have s plus 2 whole square plus root 3 upon 2 whole square if you want to uh, use that is shifting property we need to have s plus half in the uh, numerator part also okay so we have divided this 1 into half plus half okay so s plus 1 can be written as s plus half plus half okay so and also we can separate this into two diff different different terms that is s plus half upon this that is s plus half whole square plus root 3 upon 2 whole square plus half upon this part that is s plus half whole square plus root 3 upon 2 whole square okay now we are going to take inverse laplace transform of both the sides okay to solve further inverse laplace transform of f bar of s okay this equals to inverse laplace transform of this upon this that is s plus half upon s plus half whole square plus 3 upon 2 whole square fine yes plus half inverse laplace transform of 1 upon if you take half common okay yes then we are left with 1 okay 1 upon this part that is s plus half whole square plus 3 upon 2 whole square now we are going to apply shifting property okay now we are going to use this property that is shifting property from properties of inverse laplace transform we have if inverse laplace transform of f bar of s equals to f of t then according to shifting property we have inverse laplace transform of f bar of s minus a equals to e to the power at into f of t okay s minus a then here you can see this is a into t okay so if you compare this with this equation we will see the value of a is how much minus half okay here also the value of a is how much minus half okay so Using shifting property, we have inverse Laplace transform of f bar of s that is equals to okay, this is e to the power minus half into t that is e to the power minus t upon 2. Fine, 
since we have already used shifting property then half and half will get uh, is uh, over then we are left with inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square plus root 3 upon 2 whole square okay we are left with inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square plus root 3 upon 2 whole square again using the shifting property in the second term half is as it is since we have s plus 2 okay whole square so we will take yes e to the power minus t upon 2 okay according to shifting property we have e to the power minus t upon 2 because e to the power minus half into t okay what what is minus half this is a okay e to the power minus t upon 2 into inverse laplace transform 1 upon s square plus root 3 upon 2 whole square fine now we are going to see one formula for this that is inverse laplace transform of s upon s square plus a square okay look at this uh, formula number 4 that is inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon sorry s upon s square plus a square that is how much cos a t okay inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square plus a square that is how much cos a t and the value of a is how much root 3 upon 2 so we will have what yes that is e to the power minus t this part is as it is formula for this is cos a t and the value of a is how much root 3 upon 2 fine so first term is over now coming to second term okay that is uh, plus half plus half okay e to the minus t upon 2 will be as it is we are going to solve this that is inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s square plus a square okay now come to formula number 5 that is inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s square plus a square that is how much 1 upon a into sine a t and the value of a is how much root 3 upon 2 so we will have this part is as it is okay 1 upon a that is root 3 upon 2 into sin a t that is root 3 upon 2 t you can see 2 t will get cancelled okay now taking e to the power minus t upon 2 common from both the terms okay e to the power minus t upon 2 then we are left with cos root 3 upon 2 t in the first term and in the second term we have plus 1 upon root 3 times sin root 3 upon 2 t okay in the second term okay and this is my final answer okay Thank you so much.